the Western Conference quarterfinals. And the question on everyone's mind tonight, will this be a clean sweep? Hi, everybody. This is Brian Anderson. And with me tonight, Grant Hill and Steve Smith, our reporter, Ali LaForce. All right, let's check out the starting group for the Thunder. Inside, we got Williams and Holmgren. Shea Gilgis-Alexander is out there with Josh Giddy, And it's Dort in at the three. And this is where Holmgren is such a scoring threat. His size can make interior shots easier to find. Pass to Valanciunas. Now here's McCollum. Gets a very good look and converts. Some guys just understand how to generate points. He's one of them. Giddy against Jones. Gilgis Alexander with the ball. Now Dort. Into the lane. That's to Holmgren. Count it. I love this approach. Getting him involved early, and it's already paying off. It makes sense, right? You're trying to get off to a fast start, and he can help with that. Here's Ingram, following the bucket by the Thunder. Here's Valanciunas, and blocked. That one goes careening off the glass. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Pass to Holmgren. The three is up. Three shots, three baskets. Great efficiency so far. Ah, uh, a superb three-point threat. When Holmgren is knocking down triples, he's hard to contain. Fires it from 18. And off the glass. That one's good. And obviously their goal right now is to feed him the ball and get him going. Because he's someone that you lean on at the offensive end. Establish him early. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. Inside. It's good. And he drew contact on the shot. So he will go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. over time to his wire reframe. We'll see if he focuses on doing just that. Dort against Ingram. And denied! He sends it right off the glass. Count it. That's just staying in the moment, keeping with the current possession. The Thunder have gone 4-4 four four from the floor. Perfect start. Giddy against Jones. Outside Giddy. Down to five on the shot clock. Williams into the lane. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Oh, my goodness. Five straight coming out of the gate. The Pelicans trail. McCullum outside. Blocked. It deflects off the backboard. And that one drops for him. And here's Gilgis Alexander. He'll bring it up for the Oklahoma City Thunder. To the inside. Williams. That one's good. And so Gilgis Alexander with the assist. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. New Orleans calls timeout. Just under three and a half minutes elapsed here in the first quarter. Pass to Ingram. Valanchunas with a screen on Dort. And stolen by Holmgren. And up the court come the Thunder on the break. Williams passes to Gilgis Alexander. Nice start for him. Sinking his first shot. That's Shea Gilgis Alexander. Slim frame, but has the length to finish over or around you. Now here's McCollum. Pass to Jones. 
Four on the clock. Over Giddy. Jones, his shot is good. Not where Jones won. McCollum, right side. Gilgis Alexander with a steal. And Oklahoma City, looking at who they've got. They've got Holmgren. Josh Giddy out there with Kendrick Williams. Then it's Shea Gilgis Alexander. And it's Wallace in a two guard. What a two way play. Just tremendous. Yeah, the steal was slick. The slam topped it off. Turning defense into offense. Every coach talks about it. Perfect example right there. And the Pelicans with possession here. The Thunder making their last shot. He goes hard to the cup. Valanchun is one of the best role men in the game. To the paint. Here's Wallace. Oh, a great one-two punch. Beautiful pass and a nasty jam. What? Wait. Hey, dunks are always for the big boys. <laughs> Emphatic move by the point guard. Just landed in. He wanted to make a statement. McCullum's shot is off. Wow, that's one you just kind of assume is going in. Tough luck. Williams up top. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Five to shoot. Williams, a screen on McCullum. That one rolls around and rims out. Those are precisely the looks this team is trying to create. You know, if you get the ball to the right guy in the right spot, more often than not, you're coming away with points. Now here's Jones. He's got 11. And Williams over to help. Nance outside. Fires from deep. And he parries his first look. Look at the big man Valanchun is showing off the playmaking skills. Thunder with a lead. Gilgis Alexander looking it over. Gilgis Alexander punches it home. There's a move for you. Wow, just showed great creativity on his way to the bucket. Gilgis Alexander against McCullum. Over Holmgren. Shots good by McCullum. McCullum's got 10 points. Rock solid screen right there. The defender got completely lost. Hey, if you're not going to fight over, you're essentially giving the shooter the look he wants. Kitty finds Holmgren. Shoots over Valanciunas. And that one's good. Holmgren. He's got 17. He's been a steady presence for them. Nice to have that kind of safety net at the offensive end. Pass to Valanchunas. And here's McCollum. Gilgis Alexander defending. Here's Valanchunas. The Thunder pull it in. Holmgren's got rebound number seven tonight. And here's Gilgis Alexander. 36 seconds left to play in the first half. Even though he missed it, this is the exact play your offense is designed to produce. McCullum against Gilgis Alexander. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Holmgren. Marshall, he's checked in for Nance. The Thunder making a switch here. seconds left to play in the first half. Pass to McCullum. Just five on the clock. Uses the glass to finish the layup. McCullum's got six in the quarter. This is nothing new for CJ. He's scoring in bunches. His offense on display. Gilgis Alexander with the ball. There's the triple. Oh, and he just knocked down Buzzer beater. Terrific way to end a half. Nailing a three to add to the lead. And so it's Oklahoma City going into the break up 12. And it's their three-point accuracy that has helped them build such a healthy lead. We'll be right back after this word. And we welcome you back to game four, folks. Thanks for joining us. You know, Shea Gilgis-Alexander has been exceptional here, guys. 
His whole first half looked like a highlight reel, rising up and just owning the rim. And these weren't just putbacks and alley oops. He was roaring to the rim and finishing. Jones is the two with Ingram at small forward. Trey Murphy out there with Jonas Valanciunas. And it's McCullum at the point. That's the Pelicans five. Now here's McCullum. Pass to Ingram. There's another block. A defensive stalwart so far. That's six blocks. Protecting the rim well. Love the hustle. And the shooter had very little space on that attempt. And you know, we always talk about this. Just changing the shot can be just as effective as blocking it, even though it's less spectacular. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. Outside Kitty. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. Williams a screen on Jones. Here's Gilgis Alexander. And it goes. That makes him 9 for 13 now. Look at these numbers. There's a reason SGA is one of the best guards in the NBA right now. Here's McCollum. And that one good. McCollum's got 14 points. That was the first make of the half. One for four now. Let's see if that gets them going. Williams passes to Gilgis Alexander. Down low. Here's Holmgren, and that comes off the assist by Gilgis Alexander. Gilgis Alexander's got assist number 10 tonight with that last one. For New Orleans, they've gotten only one of four shots to fall in the second half. And there's the screen. Baseline try. And another one falls for New Orleans. You see how Ingram's polished his game, looking smooth from the mid-range. Williams, a screen on McCullum. Gilgis Alexander into the lane. And slam dunk by Gilgis Alexander. All he needed was a little separation. So effective. Boy, cleared the path, put him in position for a prime time dunk. That's a big time move and a big time finish. It's been a rough quarter for him. Can't seem to find any kind of rhythm. A little under two and a half minutes gone by in the third quarter. Holmgren with a screen on Ingram. Gilgis Alexander passes to Holmgren. Here's Ingram. Count it. Ingram's gotten four this quarter. Brandon Ingram doesn't hold back. You can't scare him off with contact. Pass to Holmgren. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Holmgren with it. Valanciunas covering. And it's Holmgren missing. Their first miss after hitting three straight shots. But I like their aggressiveness coming out of the half. Giddy against Jones. Valanciunas with a screen on Gilgis Alexander. Outside Jones. Ooh, nice concentration to hit the double clutch layup. Jones has got 13. Such an effective playmaker. You've got to be impressed with CJ's ability to hit open teammates. Williams, a screen on McCullum. Here's Gilgis Alexander. SGA working through contact inside. Firing on all cylinders here in the third. Only one miss in five attempts. McCullum on the wing. Gilgis Alexander defending. McCullum against Gilgis Alexander. Shots good by McCullum. 16 points for him. C.J. McCullum is so crafty at finding ways to capitalize inside. What a play. Pass to Holmgren. Outside Gilgis Alexander. S.G.A. doing his thing in close. I will say this about his shooting stroke. It's pure when he's got it going. Perfect so far this quarter. Jones, the pass to McCollum. Valachunas against Holmgren. Pass to McCollum. Let's go with a three. The putback. Oh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. 
And he's now got the double-double. Physicality from Valanciunas on the glass. Securing the ball and sending it right back. And killed just Alexander missing. The Pelicans have gotten 6 of 11 attempts to fall so far in the third. McCullum pass to Valanciunas. Ingram deciding where to go with it. Pass to Valanciunas. Fires it. McCullum's shot is off. The Thunder have gotten five of seven attempts in the third quarter. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. To the middle. Williams in the post. Valanciunas with a rebound. Valanciunas has got a rebound number 12 here already in the game. Gilgis Alexander against McCullum. No good there. That would have cut it to single digits. And for the Thunder, they're shooting an excellent rate of 56% on the third quarter. Williams is screened on Valanciunas. And it's Gilgis Alexander on the drive. The ability to alternate. Pass to Valanciunas. And the dunk by Valanciunas. Huge bucket there from the big Lithuanian. Valanciunas is stepping up. Oklahoma City has gone only 1 of 4 from the perimeter here in this fourth quarter. It's Kitty on the wing, defended by Jones. Down low. Outside for Dort. Williams with the screen. The drive by Dort. And down it goes. Jam that one home. Tenacious stuff from Dort. I mean, he knows the situation and is dead set on getting them a bucket. McCollum against Gilgis Alexander. Shots good by McCollum. He's been here before. CJ with a huge bucket. And here's Gilgis Alexander. He'll bring it up for the Thunder. They trail by one. Pass to Holmgren. Spins. Now Giddy. Clock at four. Dort finds Holmgren from Pete Giddy. And counted. 8 of 14 now. He's rolling. Boy, Holmgren. I mean, wow. Just a great feel for the game, and he's so unselfish. Ingram against Dort. Valanchunas with a screen on Dort. Ingram, pass to Valanchunas. That one's good on the sweet setup by Ingram. Valanchunas has got six in the quarter. Almost every move Valanchunas makes, there's going to be some contact. He just plays through it. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. Up and over McCollum. SGA using the length inside. Incredible play by Shea Gilgis Alexander. This kid is not afraid of the moment. Holmgren against Ingram. Driving inside. And a slam dunk by Ingram. Fearless player have to respect Ingram's willingness to take big shots. Gilgis Alexander against McCollum. Left side, Gilgis Alexander. Oh, he nails it! Whoa, whoa, that is as clutch as it gets. Big time play. This is why we all watch. The NBA is about these moments. New Orleans calls timeout. They trail by two. 52 seconds left in the fourth. A chance here to catch up with Alley from the sideline. Thanks, guys. I was able to hear Willie Green coaching his team during that last break. He was encouraging his guys, telling them, quote, just continue to run through the plays. Explore the options. You're doing a great job. Now just focus on finishing this one. Great work, Alley. Thanks. Now here's Ingram. And it's Kitty with a rebound. There's 39 seconds left in the final quarter. McCullum against Gilgis Alexander. Pass to Holmgren. The ball's knocked loose. And it's in. And he played huge in games in college. So Holmgren, no stranger to the pressure late in this one. New Orleans.
26 seconds left to play in the fourth. The fader. And he sinks it. And he's brought them within two points now. You can count on him. Ingram has accepted the responsibility of being the man. And they foul intentionally. Now they're going to have to do that again. They're not in the penalty just yet. Here's Giddy. And so they foul intentionally. Yeah, just a must-foul situation to stop the clock. So the first one drops. And that makes it a three-point lead. So both free throws good, and it's a four-point ball game. Tremendous showing of confidence by getting those two to fall. First clean look they have. I mean, they've got to take it. And even if they make it, they need an immediate foul no matter who catches the ball. And there's the intentional foul. No choice but to stop the clock here. Yeah, and there's no question they have to foul. Now, I'm sure they would have preferred to avoid it. And no good as the first free throw misses. We'll see if he can hit the second. And we talk about the things that made Chet Holmgren an elite prospect. Mental toughness is near the top of the list. And he ends up making the second. And that puts him up five. The three ball. And nails the trade. This is how lethal Murphy can be from downtown. And what... They foul intentionally. That's what they have to do at this point. He drops the first one, and that makes it a three-point lead. And so he drops them both, and it's a four-point ball game. There's the knockout blow. No chance of getting up off the canvas now. And with that win, they'll be moving on to round two and they delivered an epic performance sweeping this best of seven series that's what you want to do get out of the first round as quickly as possible 